So today, we have the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man taking on the king of Wakanda, Black Panther. Who wins? Well, let's find out. Also, just like I've been doing here recently, since we both, uh, since we know both of these characters very well, we're just gonna go straight into the breakdown. So, who's stronger? Well, Spider-Man, and by a fairly large margin. Like, the Chala is strong enough to wrestle a rhino to the ground, stop an elephant's charge with his bare hands, throw a spear through solid stone, easily lift people over his head and throw them with one hand, and he's routinely fought against the vastly stronger Namor, and even sent him flying with a kick before. But that just can't compare to Peter. Uh, Spider-Man has consistently and easily broke, smashed, and or busted through metal, even ripping apart Doc Ock's titanium arms. Casually lift and throw cars, held up a fallen construction crane, supported the weight of a private jet, <coughs> pulled down a building with his webs, and he's routinely sent Green Goblin, Tombstone, and Venom flying with his attacks. Peter is definitely stronger, but what about durability? Well, Spider-Man's skin, bones, muscles, and inter internal organs are tougher than T'Challa's, but uh, T'Challa's vibranium suit really evens it out. Like, Spider-Man has withstood building-busting explosions, routinely walked off having his head smashed against metal and concrete, electric blasts from Electro and Shocker, and massive beatings from Venom, the Sinister Six, and even the Phoenix Five. He's survived a massive explosion that was melting steel and shaker's vibrations uh, throughout his entire body for over a minute, and his vibrations can easily shatter lead, steel, and granite. Uh, he's also kept on fighting after suffering a broken hand and several broken ribs, as well as being shot several times. There's also his endurance we need to consider as he's gone days without sleep or food while fighting superhuman villains and crime in New York City. But Black Panther has easily withstood hits from the Thing and Namor, walked off massive falls, and he ignored a laser piercing right through his chest. He's also survived being hit with several Iron Fist punches uh, in one fight from a brainwashed, bloodlusted Danny Rand. What's impressive about that feat is that one Iron Fist punch was able to knock out Colossus, cause World War Hawk to yell out in pain, and bring down a shield helicarrier. And Black Panther uh, took several of these from an Iron Fist trying to kill him. His suit was literally deteriorating, and T'Challa was suffering from uh, brain hemorrhages and concussions, and yet still went on to win the fight. Uh, Black Panther also has incredible endurance, as he was fine fighting and traveling in negative 50 degree temperature, uh, and he fought Killmonger for 13 hours straight in a brutal fight. Uh, and one last thing before we move on, Spider-Man does have a nice healing factor, but Black Panther doesn't have any real vulnerabilities like Spider-Man does to piercing attacks. And now, speed. Well... Black Panther has routinely dodged bullets and lasers, uh, even at a close range with ease. Easily dodge, block, and even deflect arrows, spears, and, as w uh, and even Captain America's shield when he threw it at him. He's dodged projectiles thrown by Bullseye, who literally has superhuman accuracy. He's evaded the Human Torch, and he's moved so fast that he's appeared as a blur before. Even Captain America has claimed that Black Panther is faster than the beast he's named after. But Spider-Man is still definitely faster. He's consistently and easily dodged point-blank bullets, even when being fired from all around. Routinely danced through automatic gunfire, even while getting closer to the shooter or, uh, or when it's coming from multiple angles. Catch missiles and even bullets with his webs dodge a speeding train in a split second notice and he's even traveled across new york city in less than 10 minutes uh, and his spider sense has allowed him to react to a supersonic speedster before so yeah spider-man is definitely faster and physically better across the board but a great counter to physicality is fighting skill 
which is an advantage Black Panther definitely takes. Now, Spider-Man is a skilled fighter, as Sh uh, Shang-Chi helped him develop his own style known as the Way of the Spider. It perfectly utilizes his physicality and spider-like abilities, as well as Tai Chi techniques, since the fighting style is based off Tai Chi. Uh, but that doesn't compare to Black Panther. He's been trained to be a warrior since birth and is arguably the best fighter in all of Marvel. He's beaten Kraven the Hunter, Iron Man, who had had prep time beforehand, Deadpool, White Wolf, M'Baku, and Daredevil. He's matched or beaten Captain America, Iron Fist, Iron Fist when he's brainwashed, Wolverine, and Killmonger. He even beat a Super Scroll who had the powers and skills of several heroes on Earth, including himself, in just two hits, and he even single-handedly beat the Fantastic Four. Uh, Black Panther also has better versatility. Spider-Man does have his web shooters, but Black Panther has his two energy daggers and his anti-metal claws that can pierce through virtually anything, which spells bad news for Spider-Man due to his vulnerability to piercing attacks. Black Panther's suit is just as much of a weapon as it is armor. It robs and absorbs some of the momentum of all physical attacks, and then he can redirect it as a powerful pulse of devastating power. This also means Spider-Man's attacks won't hurt Black Panther as bad as it normally would. But the suit does have a limit of how much it can absorb and when it hits that limit, it just releases the pulse and injures T'Challa and anyone nearby. But it does take a good while for it to hit, for it to hit this limit and T'Challa can normally feel when it's getting close. Uh, but then we also can't forget about Spider-Man's spider sense. So who wins? Well, Black Panther's Vibranium Suit and Spider-Man's Spider Sense really makes this a difficult fight to, uh, to decide who wins. Uh, but at the end of the day, I think Black Panther is taking the slight edge here, S simply because he is a better tactician. I believe this, plus his vastly greater skill and versatility, will eventually overcome Spider-Man's greater physicality and Spider-Sense. Spider-Man will get a few victories, and it will be a great fight in the end, uh, but Black Panther is winning the majority just barely. Black Panther wins. Like and subscribe if you did enjoy, leave a comment of what you think, and hit the notification bell to be notified of all my future videos and all that great stuff. I'll see you on the next one. Peace!